Transport Phenomena in Biosystem Module 3 Viscosity and Momentum Segment 1 Newton's Law of Viscosity With me Yusuf from Bioengineering Study Program School of Life Sciences and Phenology Institute Technology Bandung In this module we will discuss about Newton's Law of Viscosity Generalization of Newton's Law of Viscosity pressure and temperature dependence of viscosity and convective momentum transport. Figure on the left show a pair of large parallel plates, each one with the area A separated by a distance Y. In the space between them is a fluid, either a gas or a liquid. This system is initially at rest, but at time t equal to zero, the lower plate is set in motion in the positive x direction at a constant velocity v. As time proceeds, the fluid gains momentum and ultimately this linear steady state velocity profile shown in the figure is established. When the final state of steady motion has been attained, a constant force f is required to maintain the motion of the lower plate which may be expressed by equation 3 1, which highlight that the force should be proportional to the area and to the velocity, and inversely proportional to the distance between the plates. The constant of proportionality mu is a property of the fluid, defined to be the viscosity. We now switch to the notation that will be used throughout this course. First, we replace F per A by the symbol tau yx, which is the force in the x direction on a unit area perpendicular to the y direction. It is understood that this is the force exerted by the fluid of lesser y on the fluid of greater y. Furthermore, we replace V per y by minus dVx per dy to yield the equation 3, 2. This equation which states that the shearing force per unit area is proportional to the negative of the velocity gradient is often called the Newton's law of viscosity. In the neighborhood of the moving solid surface at y equals to zero, the fluid acquires a certain amount of x momentum. This fluid, in turn, imparts momentum to the adjacent layer of liquid causing it to remain in motion in the x direction. Hence, x momentum is being transmitted through the fluid in the positive y direction. Therefore, tau yx may also be interpreted as the flux of x momentum in the positive y direction, where the term flux means flow per unit area. Momentum transfer occurs from a region of high velocity to a region of low velocity with velocity gradient act as a driving force for momentum transport. Kinematic viscosity is the ratio of viscosity to density of a fluid as shown in equation 3.3. The unit for viscosity can be defined as shown in equation 3.4. 3-4. The unit for each variable involved in the Newton's law of viscosity are shown in the table. The viscosities of fluids vary over many orders of magnitude, with the viscosity of air at 20 degrees C being 1.8 times 10 to the power of minus 5 pascal second, and that of glycerol being about 1 pascal second with some silicon oils being even more viscous. For gases at low density, the viscosity increases with increasing temperature, whereas for liquids, the viscosity usually decreases with increasing temperature. In gases, the momentum is transported by the molecules in free flight between collisions, but in liquids, the transport takes place predominantly by virtue of the intermolecular forces that pairs of molecules experience as they wind their way around among their neighbors. For the next segment, we will discuss about generalization of Newton's law of viscosity. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.